Well, hello, hello there. Welcome back to the Forgotten City. Now, this uh, chapter I'm gonna record it off stream only for YouTube because technically I already finished the game and I just want to get an extra ending, which is the true ending, I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, I just wanna do it on my own and uh, I will see what happens. Uh, also, I don't know how long it's gonna take, so maybe I have to edit the video or whatever. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Let's go. I got the finish, uh, the ending number two. But uh, we uh, got uh, a time paradox and we got allowed to go back. Um, let me put my headphones. So we have a lot of quests to finish. Still. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay. Now this whole white hallway, I still don't think I have found it. No idea. So yeah, I feel like even if I end the game, uh, I haven't even do half of the game, kind of. Okay, so current quest we have uh, figure out why Livia is acting strange. Strange. Uh, how to make Maleolus drop out from the election. Uh, find out how to stop Virgil's harassment and how to get the Galerius elected. So that's our current goals. Um, I don't know what to do with this quest. To tell, should I tell Sentius about anyone? I'm not sure. Because okay, so let me see. Let me think. Where we start? Uh, last time we saved Julia and Ulpius. So maybe this time we don't save her. I don't know. But I feel I need Ulpius alive though. Hmm. I need to find out what's going on with uh, Maleolo's wife. I don't know how. Um. Well, sounds serious. I'm listening. Yeah, let's let's do this one. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Can I do both? Let's do, go, let's do one at a time. Once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Sure. Okay. Mm. Let's see. I want to get the flower, man. <laughs> My God. Okay, one more try. One more try. <clears throat> oh, Olivia is not busy now. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, but it. Uh, can you tell me about the pattern you saw? You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Mm -hmm. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no What more. if Pandora's box is the temple on the top of the village? The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Because we need four plagues to open it. Maybe that's the box. Can Let me talk to... Vote for Maliolos. Aurelia. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward. There's a light in your eyes I've... Okay, so we choose this, and she didn't... Uh, it didn't work. So, let's, let's try this one, because this one is like, we know something. We read something about her, so... How dare you! Mm. Get away from me, you pig! 
Okay, that didn't work either. Oh, do us all a favor and drink hemlock. Okay. You. So I'm guessing we need to find Douglas more notes. His triple head. And let's so I'm going to be exploring a lot this run. I'm going to be exploring all the rooms they I can, double traits, checking for notes. Imitating their previous lives, because a lot of times when you find ignorant. new notes, uh, do you unlock new dialogues for For the conversations which helped you uh, complete the quest. Ooh. Nice. I guess that's not considered stealing. Cool. Okay, check all these rooms. Any more rooms up there? I'm not sure. Down here. Oh, cool. Uh. Mm -hmm. Lord. Now this goes outside. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what to do with the wine though. Maybe we can make Malelos go tipsy tipsy, you know? Hmm. Look at this, look at this view. Beautiful. Um Hello goat. What is this? Who's eggs? I wonder what that's for. I could have making golden eggs. Right? I think I should have, I could have turn, turn them in golden eggs, maybe. Hmm. Salve again, friend. How is it possible that you've just arrived here? At yeah, let's start on the tour this time. Uh, you're toying with me, right? You're a bit like, oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Remind me who that is? Uh, it sounds familiar, but I don't know his story. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long mm -hmm. time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push oh. a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom. Forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. I see. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same <laughs> futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway, I don't huh. know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. You're a good man, Galerius. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> Oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. 
May fortune smile on you, friend. What a nice guy. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Wait, have I go down there? Hmm. And that's the escape. So this guy here is Tantalus. I really think I'm gonna need that flower for a quest. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm gonna die from the damage. Drop that damage. And if I do die, there's no one to reset the loop. So the game will just end if I die, right? I never died, so so I'm guessing if I die, we'll get a rolling credits. Ending number one, I guess. <laughs> okay, that was too soon. Oh my god, it's so hard to time it. Can I climb this? Oop. Nope. Okay, so roll a bit. Don't drop too late. I'm gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, well, whatever. Next time, I guess. Um, but uh, I will talk to more NPCs after this. Now, I don't know what to tell Maleolos to drop out from the election. I need to find out something else. Something about her wife, but I, I don't know how to make progress. But... Nice. What? Bro, I just got scam. I just got scam, bro. Or I kind of know how to do it. I'll do something else for a little bit. Let's see. Ulpus is up there. I need to find more plagues. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Nothing that I know so far helps me to stop refuse. So I'm guessing I need to find something else. Name's Rufius. If I did, do. Mm. No idea what you're talking. Hmm. What? Yeah. Now I have the key for this, right? I have the key for the Temple of Apollo, which is. I don't know. To... Greetings and salutations. Mm-hmm. Trying to look for more stuff. For notes. Okay. Interesting. Mm, there was one time when Lucretia told us to uh, meet her on the on the baths, but we never saw her. So now that this guy is dead, maybe she will be there. Yeah, let's tell about the coin. Yes, I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? What else? Mm, that's all. I noticed. Hmm. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing I need to find more. Keep 
asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind, and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. I have been asking people about how they wound up here. And did you notice anything? A pattern? Mm hmm. Hmm. Keep asking Livia. Hmm. How, how did I make her go to the path? I don't remember. Yeah, okay. I suppose you. And, but to let's. You really don't know. You are from far away, aren't you? Well, I am one of the priestesses charged with keeping the sacred flame in Rome's shrine of Vesta burning. I take it you know who Vesta is? Vesta is the mother goddess of hearth and home, and the guardian of the Roman people. You know, I'm... Cap? You do? Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? Hmm. I really think you should. I know, I just... Don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. Hmm. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working, and became despondent started muttering to herself galerius and i visited her to see how we could help but she just looked at us with this haunted stare called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern mm. look it could be unrelated perhaps she simply fell ill or as galerius suggested the weight of the golden rule was too much for her but there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. Yeah. I just don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth, and come back to me if you discover any patterns. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. So I'm guessing I have to ask more people about this common threat. Okay. Okay. I still want to do this one though, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, talking with Rufus is not going to help. I think I try all the possibilities talking to him. I'm guessing I need to find more info. Where? That's what I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if every time I restart the loop, I have to do certain thing again from the beginning. I talk to certain people to trigger something and then I can continue the quest. Or I just keep the whole progress every time. I don't think so because Isn't the they don't remember, right? They do not remember. I haven't talked to the daughter of yeah. Sentius since the first loop. Totally forgot about her. So I'm gonna do that. Also, she had a note somewhere. She didn't want me to read. Oh, I didn't see this. She she escaped. She decided to escape. Do they know about this? Yeah. Yeah. That's my room. Leave before I call Horatius. Okay. Cynthia. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. 
Uh, do you know way out of oh, here? What is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Uh, when do you see it? When did you last see her? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. Mm. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Hmm, what if it was... who could be? Um, Horatius Galerius, maybe? He was going to marry a pleb? Peasant? Uh, maybe... Who, who could... Who could she fall in love with? Um, I don't know. That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. I see. That is interesting. Sentius, Sentius, Sentilla, why are your names also similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. Mm. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. I see. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Yes, on our surprise. And then you know something you're not telling me. If you must know, I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. Mm. I couldn't bear to lose you too, he says, as if he loves me, and not because he needs at least one daughter he can trade off. That's all the questions I had. So you'll help me find her? I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. I'll get right into it. I found this pendant in the sister. Oh, the, the moon pendant, right? Oh no, that's Centilla's. The question is, what oh, was wait. it doing in the cistern? I found it around at the neck of a skeleton. A skeleton? Oh god, you mean she's... She's... I don't know, something about it doesn't seem right to me. What do you mean? I'm just not sure how she could have been reduced to a skeleton after only three weeks. I'm probably just being paranoid, never mind. Let's go with the first one. But didn't Domitia say there's some kind of creature down there that killed and ate Hannibal? Could it not have attacked her too? I suppose I will explain it. He did. Which makes me wonder, what if that skeleton was Hannibal's? Okay. What are you saying? That somebody crept down there and put Centilla's amulet on another body to make us think she was dead? Why would anyone <gasps> do such a thing? Perhaps they abduct her. 
and want us to stop looking for her. I think she did it herself to make us all stop looking for her. Uh, I, we already know, right? So. But who? Who could have a reason to do that? Domitius? He says Liz has better access to the cistern than anyone. Ulpius. He's he uh, was her secret lover and he's clearly heartbroken. Perhaps they had a falling out, Horatius, Sentius. Perhaps your father found out she had a secret lover. Jugu! Everyone seemed to love her and I bet that made you envious. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. Um, Domitius is the guardian, the gladiator guy, right? I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what to do to us. Let's do it with Domitius. That is an extremely serious accusation. I take it you have something to back it up. Still investigating. So this is just baseless speculation, then. I've heard enough. Oops. I won't have Chimera. peddling scurrilous gossip about my sister's tragic death. Kindly keep Too far. Your insane conspiracy theories to yourself and leave me alone to grieve, you barbarian. Too far. <laughs> we don't have any proof for that, so yikes. Yeah, but that was uh, that was progress though. Let's see if we have a new dialogues with him. Alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? So remember this guy's this guy is the only one who can keep his memory. So he is on this time loop with us. He remembers everything from previous loops. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly. Someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Uh, I couldn't stop it from being broken, or I broke it. Both happened, so. Ah, uh, I see. Look, it's. But most of the time it wasn't me, so I still now want to know who's. Is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered, and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Yeah. So we never ask anything to this guy. So. Sextus Centius Imperiosus is my name. Though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the barbarians. Okay. It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you, ah. so it seemed prudent. My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic, and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. Mm. You can probably figure out the rest. Okay. I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. 
Okay. Very well. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? I've had plenty of time. Let's do the normal. It. Let me see if I first. can sum up my thoughts. Before I've he gets mad. I've my mm. guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Mm. I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. Ask them. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. Okay. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my Where? curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Um. Good. Now. Do you know any way out of here? I hope he doesn't get mad from this because he's the one preventing other people from escaping, so. If I did, I'd have led these people out of here already. Hmm. Lies. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? I would like you to release Dewey. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around. I want to do this quest. I need been. to find like a secret chest, something on the sister. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago during the Republic. The law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us, were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. <clears throat> has no self-discipline, Poor comprehension of what is going on around him and is an incorrigible rule breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Of course, what is it? Uh, I already figured out how to stop at least one person from breaking it. From breaking it. What happens now? I think I know who it is. Never mind, I need more time to investigate. I really don't know who it is, to be honest. So, last time we were on the election, and we know no one from the election was. So, that leaves the two ladies on the tavern. Uh, and the ladies on the market, I guess. Yep. So, what if next time when there is elections, I go to the tavern, for example, to sh to to just check everything is in order there. And if nothing happens there, then I will go to the market next time. I guess. I don't know. Why then did you say? So, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Um. Cool. 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 What to do, what to do. We come for you. Check in again. Rooms. Lucretia, yet, no get mad. I think I already read that. Equisha. Why do I call her Lucretia? I always consume. I always confuse her name. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think there was anything upstairs, but I will check. It's some bad. Steal that. So much temptation. Talk to everyone about how they fight. I'm just double checking. Oh, you see, I haven't talked to Fabia. Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me, a fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. Mm. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Um... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I suppose you're right. Hadn't really thought about it. But the gods are mysterious and powerful. Who knows what their plans are for us? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes, and Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. I don't belong here. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not huh. from around here, but... that doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? Have you met people? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I'll bet my friend Georgius will like you. And those interesting clothes of yours. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. All right. Thanks again for... Hey, there's more I can... Never mind. All right. Okay. She also has a note here. A Roman recipe for bread. <gasps> this is what I needed. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Oh, shiny. One now, this guy... This guy is streaky. Hello there, friend. Well, I'll t Hey, what? Don't even talk to me. Okay. <laughs> he mad. Um, so... Okay, that guy's... How did I make Equisha go to the bathrooms to talk with him? Damn it. It was because I think it was because the guy was alive though. The intruder was alive. Ah. You wouldn't build the amount but once you get used to the Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. Nice to talk to you. 
Welcome to my humble store. Great. My friend. Have you not been told about the last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here, the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders mm. and climb one's way out. They have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice sink the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tale ends. Oof. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Got it. That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Okay. What are you doing in here? She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium. No. What, Yulia? Hopefully that. God damn it. A what? I'm sorry. I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent, because it sounded like you said, time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and, and maybe she can tell us who poisoned her. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. I wish some people here need proper medical care, just don't get sick or injured here that's a shame okay mm. sure just no way getting out huh? may apollo keep you safe so this is the apollo time. this this one is open all the time what do I need the key for that? I don't know. I'm so lost. Like, I don't know what to do. Let's talk to the guy on the on jail. I'm like talking twice to everyone, at least twice Salve from all the stuff with this call. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Hello. You're going to let me out of here? Oh. Please. I hate it here. You're me. I wonder if we free this guy, if he's gonna break the golden rule and just... What is he gonna do? Can I talk to him? He doesn't talk to me anymore. Yo, he has a plague. He has a plague inside the cage. Guess I need to free this guy. Just notice him. There's a note on the floor too. Okay, keep your eyes open again. Um, so yeah, I need to complete the quest to to get all the all the all the stuff to open the temple on the top. I see. Now that's close. Okay. Um, I really don't know what to do. Will I wait for the election and uh, let's 
See who breaks the rule to tell Sentius? I don't know, that seems so like little progress to me. And if I go up there, Ulpius is going to... Yeah, I can talk to Maleolus too, I guess. Let's just try talking to this guy. I don't think it's gonna work, but whatever. We need to find something else to... Uh, no, I... Yes, so... You in... The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So, even if we didn't kill each other, the only purpose of creating the fight broke the rule, maybe? So maybe that's uh, also why on the election it triggers, because Domitius wants to kill Sentius, right? They want to execute him. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I didn't want to trigger this, but whatever. I could have saved, I could have saved, uh, close, I could have saved Ju Julia probably, whatever. All weapons are to be tossed into the, what is it? I went around us to bed. Not that it's any unfort. See the mitty, the man's a sentious note. This place would. Mm. I appreciate the thought, but you're new here, and I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia. Yeah. The Vestal Priestess. If Maleolus is in wind. All right. Uh, he cannot execute the uh, sentence and break the rule, right? How come you're allowed a weapon and I? Maliolus isn't receiving. When Maliolus wins the election, yeah, this place will change. He's not here. Dunno. The little cap at murder escaped earlier this morning while I was taking Yulia to the clinic. Tell him the punishment he gets for coming back on his own won't be as bad as if I have to go looking for him. Whatever. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I am. Now I don't think we have n any new information to talk to this lady. Let's try. Oh no. I should hope so. This is outrageous. Oh. Why? We kind of talked to her, but... Fine. There is something else to do here, for sure. Missing something. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute. So I'm afraid not. I wanted to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? You are acting very strange. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk nonsense. How? Nonsense. This is nonsense. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm you trying know new stuff. About my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. 
And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Demetrius kill him even more. Now, get out of here! Okay. Nothing here. Hmm. Still here. <clears throat> we should double check the rooms. Any notes? I think we already read that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oi! How did you get in there, you cheeky idiot? Equitia is the key. Let me say, let me go through all of them. Yeah. Oh. And I see because I please. Okay. Wait, what did you say? Let me know when. You... Let me know when you've cleared the way. Okay, I. Okay. okay, okay. There you go, this is how you do it. Help. I should have told Galarius to do this. Thank What? I had never let this guy... What if I try this? But at the same time, I want to talk to a Let me try you. this. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. I guess this is a way to drop a... Make my levels drop out, but the, he, this guy's gonna break the golden rule. I, I'm gonna have to reset, but I, it's fine. I know how to talk to a on the bathroom stuff. So. I need to talk to her, convince her to talk to me in the bathrooms, and then send this guy to the shrine. Oh yeah. Slowly we're doing progress, I guess. Hello there. Uh I'm afraid not. Something You mean how did I end? Suit you? I'm a f so Oh yeah. Oh well. No need. Mali. <laughs> Very well. Okay. The many shall suffer. Is that what he says? Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. What now? I'm here for Maliolus. Who might you be? The name's Demetrius. You wanna get to Maliolus? You go through me. Then go through you, I shall. It's real! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. We told you. Oh, oh, shit. It would be a thing to drag if it could be. Statues! They're alive! Everybody run! Okay. I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but it's good to know. This game is all about trial and error. I guess.
Okay. I need to talk with Equitia, Equitia, in the bathrooms. So this time I will tell Galerius to help Fabia. Some. Well. All right. Let me. And maybe this too. Julia. But how did you? All right. Of course. I'll make sure they have to get the money every time. I'll go. Are you serious? Welp. I cannot afford that every time, so I better collect this money every time, I guess, too. Five hundred, sure. Okay, so he's gonna do all that. I'll need to talk That's to you. That's quite an impressive a new fake. Um. Interesting. Yes. What up? Yes. What up? That's true. It. And. I. Because I. Uh. Please go and stop him and come back to. Okay. I think it's already clear. Maybe not. Let me see. But where is she going? So I know. Okay. Run! Get this guy. Salve. Okay, so the guy's gonna die. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium hmm? resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. I'm just going to help her. No time to explain. This. I think she's going to be all right. Galerius, you're amazing. How did you know? I was just doing what the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did... Never mind. Thank you so much for acting. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. I think he's gonna go to Ulpius now, isn't it? Oh my god. That's a long way, boy. MVP. Welcome. Okay, can we talk to Equisha now? <laughs> if I can find her. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. I take it, follow me, but don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Okay. Well, I missed this uh, feature, by the way. What if I follow her closely? <laughs> really funny. So she's going to the bathroom. Yo, do you see everything? Julia. Go! Oh, Ulpius is here. Welcome. Is going to. Wait, why do you look so happy? We're free. Maliolus just released us and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's incredible. Oh my god. Oh, what a relief. So sweet. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Olpius. I will. Nice. Abia is alive. Julia is alive. Olpius is alive. This is a good time loop. Okay, now we're gonna meet Equisha. I was too excited. <laughs> okay, this is new dialogue. Never had this uh, conversation before. Let's see. All right. 
You're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here. I look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. Mm. It's just as you described it. Only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C H A R O N, as in Charon, the ferryman of the dead. Oh shit! Charon, who in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx, the river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Learn the true identity of the stranger like by the I've river. Spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. There are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. But on the bright side. At least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so so sorry. I take it you know what we are all means. dead. This place, the underworld. I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the Golden Rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so I'll try to answer them if I can. Ooh, so we're dead? That was my first thought too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying, if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. What can you tell me about Karen? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different. Whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involve the souls of the dead meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd help the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's mm. obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. Makes sense. Why didn't you all recognize Karen immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kurti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. Mm. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort. And their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Oh, shit. So... If I get the another ending or the same ending, I will be able to have new dialogues with Karen. Ah, oh. are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river, but that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. And that might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Hmm. Are you trying to keep this from me? No. 
I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings, but I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. Okay, that's all the questions I had. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity, we don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular mm. about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Okay, so I guess those are the four endings, right? So we got ending number two, which is the the one she's referring to the help of Proserpina to to guide us out through the aqueduct. We got that one. So the other one is uh, confront the gods head on. Damn. How do I do that? Wait. Hmm. Can we just escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question, but the problem is. This place is fairly well designed to keep us here. Yeah. There's no way to climb up the shaft. And even if you could build a ladder big enough, just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. I've noticed you see uncomfortable calling the god of the underworld by his name. Why is that? All Romans try to avoid saying it. And the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Tell me more about confronting Pluto head on. Shh. Is everyone so blunt where you're <laughs> from? Oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the golden rule and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but you are no Hercules. I have a golden bowl. Hercules couldn't manipulate time or turn organic matter into gold. Huh? Huh? I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Are you telling me that you can? Mm -hmm. I won't pretend to understand exactly what that means. But if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you-know-who. And for that, you'll need yep. to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies mm -hmm. in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, yep. I imagine he I already knew this. to receive an audience again. Why can you tell me about the obelisk? It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple, a dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome, but of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too, although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Mm. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. 
There you go. Work. Cool, I find the Greek plaque. But I guess I already got the Roman one. I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, ah. Georgius. His store is in the forum. There we go, guys. We are digging there. Egyptian. Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, oh, he disappeared it. weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So mm. perhaps you could talk to More her. leads. Or just take a look in his room. The plot thickens. Mystery plaque. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps finding the other three will illuminate the way. I see. Tell me more about skipping with the help of Prosepina or a guide. I already did this, so. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said. The god of the underworld mm -hmm. abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. That's horrible. It is. The gods are a mirror image of mankind, as far as cruelty is concerned, I'm afraid. If the stories are true, I imagine she's as desperate to escape as we are. If she really did help Orpheus and Sisyphus, Perhaps she'll help us, too. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your Kinda. travels? Golden butterflies, I guess. I hear the female status whispering to me every now and then. Truly? And you're only bringing this mm. up now? Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? It's always the same voice, and she's helpful, if a little cryptic. Fascinating. Perhaps she is a benevolent spirit, or perhaps... <laughs> hmm. Mm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Proserpina herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? I have already found a way to escape. Truly? Then why are you still here? To save you all! Because that path will result in the deaths of nearly everyone here and another one dead. Oh. Yep. Then it seems you have made a great sacrifice for all of us, friend. I admire your compassion. Truly. Thank you. But unfortunately, I'm afraid your only other option will be to confront mm -hmm. you-know-who. That's cool. There's so many dialogue options depending on what you have done. That is crazy storytelling. Suggest not discussing this with okay, anyone. So the best we can do is search for plaques. Let them remain oblivious for as long as plaques. possible. I call them plaques. As for Livia, <laughs> I don't know it why. seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's oh. not alone. I'll have a chat with Leah first. I'll start looking for the Roman. Uh in any case. Time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on your side. Nice. That was amazing. We're gonna have so many dialogue options now with so many people, so many new leads. That is very good pros progress. Nice. Now, the only problem is the election may be soon. That means the golden rule is about to break. So. Okay, Egyptian. Kabash. Okay.
Okay, since we're here, we can ask uh, Georgius. Let's see. Greetings, I'm Georgius. My friend, you. Do you know where I might find a Greek plaque? And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgius, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgius and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. So, they do my name is Georgius. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, <laughs> but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Roman now. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. But my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than... Mm. Uh, he cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still oh, has it with him in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Yeah, I already knew that. Now, but maybe now that we know that, that we fun. can have a new dialogue to a reason of why sh you should be free, right? Now, the older plaque, placa, uh, asked Tully totally about the plague. Cool. Now, um, mm, 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 wait, wait, wait. So the Roman one is already right. okay, okay. Let's talk to Livia if she's not busy. And I guess Cabbage was living on the tavern, and there may be some uh, notes about uh... where the plaque may be. All the money I can get, I should get it because I'm gonna need 2000 now and then. In case I need to save Ulpius and Julia, right? So, yeah. Every money I can get, I should get it. Please don't tell me you're busy. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Okay, I think I need Vivian, to finish. Would you talking. stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are. Oh, Kabash to Kabash. Full creation of the dreams. River. Scarlet in Shadow, Herty, Skirty, I see. Okay, I think I can talk to them now. Just double checking one more time. Incomplete? No. This is your final warning sinner. Shit. Rufus Chest. Oh, hey, but Rufus is also a homosexual. Huh? Okay. Wow. Aurelia, please. Oh, you and uh, there's. Oh, I. <sighs> Let's just forget that. You know, no. I guess that way. As a matter of, I'm happy to tell you all about it. So, I know it's a scam. Tell me more about what I will buy. If if you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Isn't this kind of a, isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapping here, knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way: I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. Simple. It's a one-way trip. And I'm not ready to go just yet. I mean, last time we 
paid for information. It was kind of useful. So I don't know why <laughs> calling her a scammer. I'm not sure. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. Ha! It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I'm looking for Kabash. Have you seen him? This is not for a few weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some mm. job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I hovered. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just oh. disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. Thank you. All right. See ya. Cool. Now into Libya. Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, but it does not notice the crowds that come. I figured out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives and still others incur punishment i hope i have done it justice Beautiful. and now we share a secret it's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders thank you friend i think i should rest nice that, that how does that help me <laughs> Pandora's box. So, I finished that one? Okay. Cool. Let's talk to Giorgio. About Kavash. Also, I could talk to this guy about the the plaque. Uh, hello, hello. Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? It makes me happy just looking at it. May I have it, please? But if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. I need it for something really important. All right, what's well, it gonna take uh, for you to give it to me? I think this is more productive because, yeah. 
Um, well, if you get me out of here, then I wouldn't need it anymore. How the hell do I get I'd this guy out? I'd already be happy. <laughs> then you could have it, and you'd be happy too. There's no way Sentus will release you, but perhaps if we had a new magistrate. Like, Galerius. Oh. He's nice. I like Galerius. Everything yeah, comes all around. And everything. So all I need to do is persuade everyone to vote for Galerius. Perhaps Malelos will set you free if he wins. Oh, if Malelos wins, uh, it will reset the loops. So I need to make Malelos drop out, elect Galerius, convince people to vote for Galerius, and Galerius will free this guy. Sure, but how do I make Malelos drop out? That's the thing. <laughs> it all goes back to there. It has to be about his wife. I think. I don't know. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Then you can have my plaque, and everyone will be happy. Bye bye. Okay. This motherfucker. <laughs> so it wasn't gonna be that easy. Welcome to my humblest. Hello again, my sartorial friend. Okay, I'm looking for Kabash, and I heard you were one of the last people to see him. Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us leave the live call safely beneath the ash. You can trust me. We're, uh, we foreigners have to stick together, remember? Very well. But the magistrate would not look kindly upon this, so please keep it to yourself. For several months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors <clears throat> in the temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day, when I return, the food is missing. How's our problem? How strange. So I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this temple? Stranger still. It's Kabash, bro. I in front of my shop like the hundred eyed Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in. But do you know what I saw? What? Animals? Someone who'll be drinking? <laughs> I have no idea. You tell me. Nothing. Nobody entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. It is bizarre. It's so it's inside the temple. When I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern. He offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay, he was never seen again. I am off to the Temple of Demeter then. Where is the Temple of Demeter? It is the only Greek temple in the city. Head towards the baths, and it is the last building on your right. Wait, what? I do not think you should pursue this, my friend. It would break my heart to be responsible for two people disappearing. Isn't that the one that collapsed? Kind of person to be deterred by such words. That was a different try. Just be careful, I beg you. Okay, can I die here? So going to the bats. What the hell? How am I never come here before? Holy shit. I would never even see this door. Well, Fine, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I'm glad I never discovered this before. <laughs> Because yeah, this makes it, makes that makes it more interesting. I think new area. Sneaky, sneaky.
Paint and scarring. I kind of don't jump down there. What the hell is this? Discord what lies beneath the city. A ship. Come and join me by the fire. I guess it's Kabash. There's a note there. Yeah, let's talk to this guy first. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? I'm Achilles. It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Tell me. What brings you all the way down here? I found this place by accident. I'm looking for a plaque that was removed from the oldest. I'm looking for Kabash. Ah, Kabash. I know this man. He came through here some weeks ago. I will tell you everything I know. But first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years with nobody to talk to but myself. Okay. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody oh. astute. Down. I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Pluto. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly sure. dialogue? Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? Um... Okay, if I I read uh, I read some Plato, not some, most of it, and yeah, this is a Socratic dialogue about the right and wrong, and I kind of remember everything. One of my favorites. Um, now is that the? Let, let's see how it, this goes. Now, if I say I know it, he's gonna start arguing like you think you know, but you don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm not sure. Let's see what he says. You are an overthinker too. We're the same then. It is probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. Um, I guess so. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Correct. Whose version of right and wrong? Of Pluto, right? We already discussed this. Uh... So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct? which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing. Um, this is very interesting. Um, is it like a universal morality, I guess? Um, I 
for example, when you talk about murder or killing or stealing, you can always argue like, I did it in self-defense. Or I did it because eye for an eye. Or he stole me first, right? But if the system is perfect from the beginning, the first person who committed the first uh, immoral act shouldn't be able to justify the second reaction. No way, right? So... Uh, but at the same time, I know what I, I want to know what he thinks. So I may not answer it truly, but at the same time, I want to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna say, uh, is there one system of morality which is always perfect, perfect, correct? Now, <laughs> another thing I always think when I when I think about this topic is, uh, what would animals think about our, ourselves if they knew? we had this this set of rules and also what happens if you travel let's say 2000 years to the to the future right if it's perfect it should not have changed right forever unless you get a new system that is corrupt or whatever and then they change it but what what if i don't know slightly changes in the future so then it wasn't that perfect right i don't know I'll, I'll, but i'll say there is just let me guess is it your no and that's a credit to you it is the mark of a civilized person to change their position when presented with a superior argument mm -hmm. my point is this i don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong If there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people <laughs> will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached, but never mm. reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. I don't agree with this that. This and no other is the rule. It's going too far into into the argumentation. When he first appears as a protector, and life under tyranny is no utopia at all. Um, I think you're wrong. So he 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 compared this way of approaching a perfect moral system with a mathematical curve like asymptote uh, approaching the, the 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 perfect line the utopia right but the, the point on that is that literally he just said that the, the point of that is approaching it as close as possible sure what's better what's better to to be 0.999999% close to 1 or be like 0 0.5 close to 1 i'll say 0 0.99 is is it's closer and better sure you may not get to 1 but you will have minimized uh, crimes or whatever right better than living in under a, a life under tyranny like he's saying, so I think he's wrong. Well, reasonable minds may differ, and if utopia really is possible, then I would mm -hmm. be glad. That's what to I'm trying that. to say. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I really enjoyed this conversation. I would be happy to answer your questions. Sure. What's your story? You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long so I'm story. guessing this guy is not from uh, this current population, these 23 people that we all know. This guy's from like before. This guy's from like the the golden statues times. <laughs> like yeah, he just I guess he found out the flaw of this place and he's like okay I'm gonna just go along. I don't know, but then if everyone turns into gold he shall turn to i guess but there are no statues here to shoot him i'm not sure i was a quarrelsome young man at 19 i left corinth for rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies 
so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night, I found myself in a tavern, in an argument with a drunk mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Hmm. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and 12 of us descended for the last time. To live out our days hidden from Hades tyranny. Wow. So yeah, this goes back not only to Greek times, because it's using Hades. But this guy's from Greece, not from Rome. But this is gonna go even back to Egyptian. <laughs> Watch. This is like the underworld from Egypt, which is uh what was that? The guy with the boat. You had to be carrying the coin, blah, blah, right? It's the same tale. Why can you return to the surface? Why can you tell me your name? What is everyone else? I don't know here. They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto. Yep, there you go. And long before that, my the hermit him philosopher. Why can't you return to the surface? My generation was wiped out, turned to gold yep. many years ago. What, just what is that? My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the mm. job, and he'd send them after me again. Furies. Um. I was gonna say something. Yeah, so if they stay down here, what do they eat? Like they cannot uh, do ag agriculture or anything, right? I'm not sure. Um, and also... Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's continue. Why can't you tell me your name? Maybe if I know his name, something bad can happen to him? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, yep. that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. Fair enough. Where is everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning, but one by one, my friends passed away. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, mm -hmm. I had not seen another person in many, many years. How have you survived down here? Living in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish mm. provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage ah. the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation. So I like to imagine arguments where I argue Holy both shit. sides. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. Agreed. As you wish. Okay. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Ha! <laughs> if I did, would I be living like this? Okay. What do you think about the golden rule? Did we not discuss it at length already? Oh, I see. You're toying with me. Wow. <laughs> Do you know where I can find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk? You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian inscription. Yep. That's the one. It is a cursed object. Okay. And I would be happy to give it to you mm. if Kabash had not already taken it. Alright, then tell me where Kabash is. I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, oh. there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, 
It was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them I here, see. out of reach of the Romans. I'm with you so far. What does this have to do with Kabash? I mean, Kabash was from Egypt, was it? No, he was from, I don't know. Not from Rome, not from Greece either. Maybe it was from like, I don't know, Persian or something? I'm getting to that. You see, it was among these old Greek relics that I found the thing you see. An even older plaque. There you an go. Egyptian inscription. How did he get here? We had no idea until years later, when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to mm. lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, <gasps> with an older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts were still you just did all the same. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. Mm -hmm. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. But what if he is had better not be a trap? I assure you it is not, although it will be dangerous. I urge you to exercise caution. So if I put the trap and someone dies from the trap, does that consider murder for me? And does that does that uh Trigger the golden rule. I don't know. Key to the catacombs. Rusty old key to the metal gate to the catacombs. Nice, thank you. Very nice. I'm progressing a lot. Um, what are we going I now? Enjoyed our chat, but please keep my presence here a secret. Yes. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Hermit. This is your bet. Very nice. Bath tub. Oh, it's a pot. I see. Uh, time to dive. So, I guess Kabash has put some traps on the. Also, how is there fish here? What the hell? Kabash has trapped the. Ah, the tunnels. What's this way, though? Uh, sure. Oh, it's just a way to get out. Okay. So now that we have the key, we can open this gate. Catacombs. Okay, very cool. This is so scary, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping my eyes open for... So again, if... Yeah, I'm not sure. Where am I? Hmm. Oh, fuck it. Shit, that's scary. Bonk. Um. 
Bonk. Where am I? What is this? What the hell? Okay, let me check this side room first. <laughs> what is in here? Arrows. Oh, that means we're gonna fight an Egyptian vase. Vase. Was built to last. Um, can I open this? It seems to be locked from the other side. So this is gonna be the exit. Once we complete this. And he has uh, Egyptian. Uh, Jero Jeroglyphics? I don't know how to say that word. Hieroglyphs. These are mummies. Holy shit. Damn, son. Egyptian board game. Senate. Oh, I remember. I remember reading about that game. Yes. Is it set? Anubis? <gasps> Jackal, will this be Anubis? I mean, Anubis is the previous Charon, isn't it? Oh my goodness! Boom! This is so cool. Columns. I love how the architecture changes. So cool. Egyptian tools. Okay, there's only one way to go. Mm -hmm. Wait, what about here? Where am I going? Oh. 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 <laughs> X. I guess I could have avoid all the enemies. Um from up here. I see. Many shall suffer from the sins of the one. Holy crap. Is that Kabesh? Yep. It's gonna jump, isn't it? Who is that? Stop. Oh, is the Do bow. not come any closer. Who are you? Oh, he's Egyptian. I'm Achilles. 
I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm? I got an achievement called Find the Three Missing Persons, which is which is Kabash, Sentila, and Who's the last missing person? I don't know. I'm just looking for an Egyptian plaque. Do I look Greek or Roman to you? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Trousers, boots, curious here. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? I'm just looking for an Egyptian plaque. Hmm. To what end? I want to return it to the obelisca. Hmm. That is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. <gasps> We're golden, boys. Thanks. Now, as for the other plaque. Yep. Okay, so we, we have... I think we got the Roman one. Now we got the Egyptian. The Greek one is on the jail. And then the fourth one is the mysterious one. That one is the one, I don't know. The fourth plaque. Do you know about that? Do you know where can I find it? Do you know about that? Indeed. I have it right here. What? I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. Mm. And there it was. He's not gonna be good. To may I have it? He's gonna say no this time. You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy oh, shit. it. Is that gonna break the golden rule, though? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. How so? I will tell you, but first, do you know what this place is? That what? The Egyptian underworld? Archaeologist inside? Is this because I chose at the beginning to be an archaeologist? Or did we read any notes about the uh, Alworth about telling us this? I don't know. Because at the beginning of the game, we could choose, right? Holy shit. Indeed. And I see you know our history. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. Mm -hmm. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers, but instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if mm. that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm. <laughs> My only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. What tells you the Egyptians did a copy from someone else? So what's the problem with this plaque? What does it say? Why is it blasphemy? I can see why you'll be unhappy with the Greeks and Romans. Let's, I think this is like a optional and then we'll have to do this anyways. So let's ask this first. I am glad to hear it. Which brings me to this other fourth plaque. It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient. Almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing mm -hmm, Osiris' mm -hmm. name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. 
But this, I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris <laughs> once more. His brother. Uh, if you give it to me, I'll destroy it for you. Lul, he's not that naive, bro. He's not that stupid. <laughs> what does the inscription say, though? You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. Please don't. Stop and eat that. I'll do it and I'll kill you. So, yeah, this is not going to work. This will just reset the loop. Stop, I need that, and then please don't. Uh, let's go with the, uh, I need it. You are too late. It is done. Well, now I'm going to have to go after it. <laughs> I wish you hadn't done that. This sounds very threatening, though. You get to make it aggressive, and that will uh, reset the loop again. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to... But at the same time, if I tell me I'm gonna still go for it, this, he may try to stop us. So, yeah. I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to choose. I guess this one reveals our intentions, and this one doesn't, but it sounds very threatening, kind of. I don't know. It could not have gone any other way. It was Osiris's will. Okay, fine. Now, the thing of evil you sought is gone. Why are you still here? What's your story? I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman, like my father before me. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, the passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself and he tried to bribe me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, oh, wow. he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kerti, and at the time, I simply thought him odd. This did not dawn on me until much later that he was THE Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. Well... <laughs> That's weird. If I will cab and I will be like, hello, I am, J my name is Jesus Christ, you know, <laughs> I'll immediately think, <laughs> you know, I don't know. This is where I belong as caretaker of the memories of my people. If our ways are to be remembered, it falls to me. Yeah. What do you think about the golden rule? I think if someone is to break the golden rule, it will not be me. For I try to live as I always have by the command of the goddess Ma'at. Do to the doer to make him do. As for the punishment that will come from it, I finally understand why it has long been said among my people that gold is the skin of the gods. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think is down there? I do not know. What could possibly lie beneath the underworld? Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Perhaps it is the lair of Amit, the devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. Perhaps. That just makes me want to go down there even more. <laughs> is everyone so contrary where you are from? <laughs> Do not even consider it. I need the plaque, bro. Good. Be gone from this place. Is he gonna Wait. You are planning mm -hmm. to go down there. I see. Oh, it's gonna get place. aggressive, isn't it? We'll see. I urge you, return to the surface with the Romans. It will be safer for you. 
How can I go down there though? Oh, it's water. I can just drop. Okay, cool. So we got the... Uh, a new plaque. What is it? Osiris, Lord of Silent. Bro, this game is pretty cool. How you keep digging and digging and discovering new things. Now, I wonder if meeting these people, talking to them, etc., etc., will grant us new uh, dialogues uh, on the surface. Should I just go back to the loop? Or should I just go down there? How is it possible to feel watched at every moment and yet still be so alone? Holy shit. Joint Sumerian plaque Nergala, the fierce one Sumerian. Well, we got two plaques, we're only missing one. Let's go. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh my god. The underworld of the underworld of the underworld. Can I go past this? I'm stuck. that I bring a flashlight barricades they're trying to defend themselves from something oh ancient stone tablet nam kusu Wow. Wow. Is that like a anti anti immigrants? Corrode brass plate. Pressure plate. Some trap. Oh shit. Well, I press it though. Mm, let me go back here one second. I don't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. I'm playing with fire here. Okay. Looking for secrets. Now, should I press the... This, or should I just go? Because I can literally just go this way. Up here, and then continue this way. I think. Yep. But I'm so tempted that I'm gonna save the game and do a save scam strat. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Wait, maybe this opens a new path. Um... Maybe that will drain the water from the top. Sure. I mean, Sumerian is considered the the origin of civilization, right? Oh, I should have checked that place before. Am I making the the water rise or something? Because I think I am. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Okay, before I do that again. Oh. When I told you that you would not find uh -oh. a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. And <laughs> There's no need for this end. For this to end in violence, like, I, I, yeah, I need to try the Pacific way. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege. But you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, okay. or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? Okay, we need to choose wisely. If something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. He's gonna get mad. He's gonna be like, "My gods are the holy ones." You know, there is no shame in building on the works of people who came before you. Yeah, I can see him getting mad for this too. I'm just trying to replace all the plagues taken from the desecrated obelisk. Yes, this one is more peaceful. I saved before this, so I can load. Why? To what end? I'm hoping it will earn me an audience with the god of the underworld. Just to restore honor to the god of the underworld. But if I say this... And he thinks I'm doing it for the wrong god, he's gonna be mad. Now, if I say this as in like... Uh, Kurti or Anubis... Then he will be happy. But it's a lie. I don't see why I should not say this to him, so I'm just gonna be honest. But why? What business could you Osiris. have with Osiris? I'm going to pay him my respects. <laughs> I'm going to confront him about the golden rule. I'm going to demand that he let everyone go. I'm going to kill him. Holy shit. Now, the first one, I think he's gonna smell. He's gonna notice deception. <laughs> so yeah, no. The last one, he will not like that one either. So I'm between two and three, right? Confronting about the golden rule. Now, if I say this, he may be like, who are you to uh, discuss the golden, uh, the gods laws, right? Whatever. And then if I go into the man and he let everyone go, I'm not sure, bro. I don't know, man. 
I'm gonna demand he let everyone go. And this is true. This is true, actually. And he may have a reason also to, to be like, oh, I want to leave too. But at the same time, he may be like, if we are here, it's because he wants us to be here, right? So who are you to question that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna choose the third one. Blasphemous fool! You have sealed your well, I missed. Fate. Wait, if you attack me, you will break the golden rule. Ha, good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. Well, I guess I missed. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. You fool! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh my god, the water. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm turned into gold. I got an achievement for dodging three boulders. <laughs> well, you're dead. Continue from last save. I guess we can repeat the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, again. I was doing good. When I told you that, that you will. I. You. Why? Okay. Why? If I say this, he's gonna notice. But why? Yeah, I'm gonna say this. What if I lie? Yeah, I'm gonna say this one. Doubtful. What do you know about honoring the Lord of Silence? Oh shit, that was correct. Oh, I need to discover something else to unlock a new answer to this, I think. <laughs> this sounds so stupid and this one too i just wanted a friendly chat so i'm gonna go with does anyone really know much about him hmm. <gasps> the truth indeed it seems we have all been deceived many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the duat in death and be judged accordingly we prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis's scales and to swear and ourselves feather. innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us oh, life shit. all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? Probably, but you can blame your priest for that, not me. Isn't being a good person a worthwhile pursuit in and of itself? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Even if your beliefs about the afterlife weren't quite accurate, isn't isn't the most the more important thing that motivated you to live good lives? If you were only good in life because you expected a reward, were you really a good person? Oh shit! Uh, I'm gonna like I, I. This is what I will say in reality. But the only thing I don't want these guys to get mad and uh, end the loop. So I'm gonna go with him. I just hmm. perhaps there is some truth in that. What is your point? He being a good person, even if you realize religion wasn't the the thing doing it, you know. Are you going to abandon a lifetime of, of, of good character now that it matters the most just because you found out you were misled? I'm professional psychologist fucking this guy's mind. Holy shit. Mm, you are yep. persuasive. Very well. I will let we you do it. And you may do what you will with that plaque. There you go. I will remain here for a while. And attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Go. 
But even though um, Even though um, Religion copies something from the previous one They always come out with something original I will say Like They didn't copy 100% You know They just copy it and mix it And invent new things Oh my god the water is rising Oh no Maybe I should not I should not push that Older Oh run I want to Explore How do I get out? Okay, we out. Fucking bitch. You again. Of course. Lol. That's cultural appropriation, bro. You're just quoting the Romans. Taking their their their, their sayings. That's not cool, bro. <laughs> You're just copying them. We out. Now, where am I? Okay, I know where we are. So... Okay, so this way... This way, I had to go all the way back, I guess. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I will say uh, second try, but success, I guess. You carry the gift of Prometheus in your hand. Remarkable. Yes. New dialogues, maybe? Good to. I enjoy. <laughs> we'll see. He didn't ask, like, did you find Kabash or anything? He just. Okay, bye. See ya. Yeah. Okay, that was a lot of progress. That was cool. Mm -hmm. I'll consider this being part of the main game, to be honest. Only the true ending is a. Uh, because if you end the game with the with the one I did before with Centilla, you're gonna miss so much of the game. Okay, so now we only need to rig the whole election. Jakes. Which is about to happen very so I fear. I meet everyone! I found everyone! Yikes. Are they again? Did you find what you need? Can I ask you some question about escaping the underworld? Certainly. Uh sure. May Fortuna guide you. So no 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 words about cabbage or anything? Maybe. You look well, my sir. Hey. Have you discovered anything about my vanishing offerings? Uh, I have, but just telling you about it might break the golden rule. Truly, my imagination runs wild. Should I stop my offerings, though? Is there any danger? No, you can keep them. You should keep leaving them, trust me. Very well. <laughs> Bro. Judgment, my friend. You should no, stop it, another guy just starves to death. He didn't ask for Kabash or anything, that's weird. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on Ah, a new fate. I hear we nice to Okay. I'm gonna put the plaques on. So I I, I think that's uh permanent progress. Once you place them, they stay there. You don't need to place them every time, right? Be careful who you trust. Oh, yeah. I still feel we have the most important and hard, the hardest task yet, which is making Galerius win the elections. That's gonna take us some work. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, a missing one. Sure. So let's see. The Greek plaque. Um. 
We know where this is, though. Okay, so if we help Virgils, we're gonna cons convince him to vote for for Galerius. Yes. Collect the four stolen plaques. A Herculean task. Sure. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna stop it right here. And uh, I will continue playing by myself, and then I will, I guess I will edit the video in like, one final chapter altogether. Um, let me try something now. What if we tell Sentius that Maleolos... Wait, what? Oh, Octavia. I haven't talked to Octavia in a long time. Welcome. That's good. If you're not on edge, well, we've all been where you are now. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Yeah. I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods... Uh, the gods decide our fate. <laughs> so was scam. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm looking for a Roman plaque that was removed from the list. Wait, is the Roman the one I'm missing? No, he's not. Even if I had seen it, and I'm not saying I have, I couldn't in good conscience give it to you. What you're doing is disgusting, uh. and it's not going to work. Shame on you. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another She's time, Christian. Then. That's what she said. God. Uh, I mean, gods. Right. But we're missing the Greek one, right? So we have a... Uh, Roman, Sumerian, Egyptian. We're missing Greece. Yeah, I was saying, what if I tell Sentius that Manleolos is gonna execute him and break the golden rule as soon as he's, they get, he gets elected? Are they gonna help me somehow? I'll drop here. Be careful who you is Isn't the great temple majestic? I don't know, just to try something random, I guess. Are they? We're finally alone. We have. I'm, is that about? Uh. Seems rather brash, but all right. Why have you sought? I mean, he out? should remember. Uh. uh I was hoping to just have an station. Who's going to break the golden course, rule? What is it? I have already figured out how to stop at least one person from breaking it. Well, if you stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it. Okay. Still, allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. Mm -hmm. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. You see, the same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and 
yourself. So I will not die, so I guess. The fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Understand? Sure. Excellent. So it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Of course. What is it? Yes. Uh, Malolos. Why do you say that? When he wins the election, he's going to convict you for treason and sentence you to death. What? That's... I... I'm speechless. There you go. How do you know? Of course, this isn't your first loop, is it? Well then, you must stop him from winning the election. I expect you need some kind of leverage on him, but I can't be seen to be involved in this, of course, so you'll be on your own. You'd better not waste any time. And may Swada, goddess of persuasion, go with you. Yeah, so I guess... Uh, I don't think I can. Good, thank you. <laughs> what if I say that? Will he help me? Hey, did I... I don't think I talked to my Leolos this look right, so I can. I will have a new dialogue option, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna try... Should I try the Y first? I'm not sure. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute. So... Um. <laughs> Are you insane? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Ah, there's no other options. Don't talk nonsense. How? Nonsense! This is nonsense! Damn. I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm... And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Dim... Now, get out of here! Oh, damn it. Didn't work out. <laughs> I need your help. I'm not supposed to be in here. I know. Where do you keep your valuables? Domitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. This is outrageous. Oh, is it really coming? I don't see him coming up. I'm leaving, okay? I'm leaving. Peace. Yeah, he's not gonna talk to me. Get out. Okay. Um. What? Malia. What? Ah. I need to dig up some dirt somehow. Okay, so we need to discover like when the assassin comes to us and he tells us oh, he's they. looking for him. We know his past. Oh, so we know he's he did something there to him before, right? Maybe that's how we do it. So we need to talk to the assassin, I guess. We need to talk to him and then Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, I'm so smart. Wait, I have two balls now? Uh, golden bow. And good and bow. Oh, shit. Cool. Okay. Ah, but it's too late now because I already talked to Malelos. He's not gonna talk to us unless. Isn't the great temple majestic? Oi! How did you get in there, you cheeky little If I stop at this one from Malolos, I'll be coming. Get out of my. Okay.
Ask Malelos whether he's Quinchus. Yeah. Different color eyes. Yeah. Okay. I guess that counts as, as progress. But we have to reset the loop, though. So... I guess we can just shoot this guy. Yeah. The many shall suffer <laughs> That's for the sins of the one. Shoot me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay. That was really cool. I I think we did a lot that that uh, that loop. So, now we'll find out Quintus Malolos, we'll convince him to drop out, then we'll convince... Yeah, I still need to do this though, and I don't know how. Maybe that now that we found that dildo stone thingy, <laughs> he'll be like, oh shit, I'm gay too, you know, he knows. Uh, yeah, he will. Okay, okay. I kind of uh, see. I, I see. I see. I see the exit. Now I want to stop, but now that we came this far, um, now I'm thinking, right? Oh, I don't have enough money though. We need Julia and Ulpius alive to vote for Galerius. Ah, that's why you do it. And Fabia too, right? Uh, they, they cannot vote though. Mary Ulpius? No, he's a slave unless we free him. I'm not sure. I'm not sh I don't even think I have enough money. Last time I had... Yeah, I, I don't have 2,000 for sure. Maybe we can sell the good and ball, but that's gonna be too late. So, let's... um. Oh, so we can do this. Yulia, we can do this too. All right, let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't have money for opus. I'll go. How much money do I have? Eight hundred only. Holy shit! Okay, there was also money on these catacombs, so I need to get those. Oh no! Now I have the golden ball and the only one. It's gonna be confusing. Yeah, okay. There was money up here too, I think. I need 2,000. Denarius. Two hundred, I'll take it. So that's uh, 1500 so far. I think 1600. Okay. Um, there should be more this way. Like, even if I don't have it for this loop, I'll like to have it for the next one in case, just in case. 
I think it was this way. I'm not sure. Uh... Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. This way. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? This way. Come on. Mm, this for the oh, lock. Should I go the other way around? Is there? Uh, maybe there is no money there. Huh? What's the wine for? By the way, there is nothing here. There you go. A hundred. Hmm. I need more. Like, I need to have the 2000 on me before the loop starts. Right? Um. So, I need to steal. <laughs> Now you talk. I only need a thousand. Oh, that's a little. All right. Wait, wait. Now I know all the answers to get to get the money, so I'm just gonna pick the. The things I pick already oh, to make sure he gives right. it to me. Here's your money now. Uh, can you? What is? It? Yep, that's a free. Don't even. That's a free thousand denarii right there. How, how to get it? <laughs> there you go. So with that thousand, the chest on the on the water. I'll be fifteen hundred, and then the chest up there is two hundred, seven hundred. I think we can get two thousand every time, kind of. Okay, mm, so a golden bowl, just like Apollo and Diana. Mm, now we are going to. Okay, Julia saved, but uh, that guy's not saved. Though. Can he go and save him? I'm gonna try. Because now I have the money. Now. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Uh, no idea. Yes. So yeah. Fucking bitch, man. I don't know how to do that quest. I need to find something else. Okay, now into uh, convincing Ulpis to not jump. as well because i feel i i will net i will need everyone to uh, galer for galerius to win uh, da -da. Uh, all right. i can't believe this is how it ends okay we all already convinced this guy to not jump no, no, so no, 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 we no. kind of know the dialogues that's the what why do you i know I'm sorry. Need to Please tell him about Julia. Him. Talk to him. Thank Sentila. Oh, Sentila is the secret love. I thought it was Julia for some reason. You. Well, you don't. It's too. If I. Oh, that was. Mm. Really? Sure, why not? <laughs> I am out. Okay. Wherever you are, so I'm fucked up. my love. I'm sorry. Oh, Pierce, no! Yeah, I should have told you it will be free. Fuck. It's fine now. 
Nice camera. That was not your fault. Thank you. Well, I can jump too, right? And not die. Easy. I guess that's a, another way of uh, entering Malelos. Yeah. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? Yep. That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. <laughs> well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Why are we asking this? Like, we already got that one. I guess we finished the quest too early. I'm not sure. So, you're a Quintius. <gasps> I know your name. My name is Marcus Maliolis Gurgis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You seem to have confused mm -hmm. me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description on this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I can't prove it to you yet, but I will. Apparently, Quintus also suffers from delusionals of grandeur. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. I will. Oh my god, we need to gather more stuff. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was Fuck. there something else you wanted? Look, if I had a Roman plaque in my possession, I'd be happy to sell it to you, but I... Um... <laughs> you... The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Get him. Oh, not get, don't get me, get to him. Well, I try, guys. I didn't remember I chose that option before and it triggered the. I thought he was gonna be like, ah, you're not gonna do that. Bye. You know? Never mind. Don't underestimate the gods. I guess I should, should steal all the money before I left. <laughs> so I have enough for next time. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end it here though. I'll try to finish next uh, time. I'm in the mood for continuing. I discover a lot in this chapter and I'm happy with all the progress I got. Hmm. Somehow we need to find evidence linking Maleolos to the name of Quintus. Maybe the wife, bro. So I read all the notes. I don't know, man. How are we gonna do that? More evidence. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, next time. Uh, yep. Uh, bye bye, guys.